Thanks for joining us this Info 2025 video. I'm joined by Scott from Visionary. Welcome, Scott. Good to see you. And good to see you too. I guess, first of all, the important bit, what's new on the stand? So we got, we've got a, about four or five new products this, this year we're excited about. Um, some new wall plate uh, that are compatible with our five series endpoints, AV over IP. We have a UC AV over IP conferencing bridge that we're really excited about that I'll tell you about. And we've got some new features in our IPTV software as well to share. So things are moving on at Visionary then? Yeah, things are things are growing. It's, it's yeah. going well. We, uh, we're we adding people. We just uh, hired three new salespeople in the US and uh, two two new people in Europe as well, in EMEA. And I saw in, re in recent news the, the Resorts World contract has been extended further. Yeah. yeah the award winning Resorts yeah, yeah, World yeah, contract. Yeah, from you guys, yeah. I think, actually. Thank you for that. But yes, um, yeah, we, we love Resorts World. And, uh, they're doing some expansion in uh, We've signed on for another three years with them, so we'll, we'll be having parties at Infocom. Come by and see us at Resorts World. And, and you were, we were talking off camera about the, 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 the conferencing bridge. You were saying it was a sort of direct feedback from, from customers, because as a magazine, we're always saying to trying to plead to manufacturers to listen to your customers. Don't just release a product because you can. Release it because there is actually a need or a demand out there. Yeah, yeah. So when we first introduced our encoders and decoders with uh, USB-C I.O. a few years ago, display port alt mode in and on the decoder we had USB UVC and UAC out. Uh, people started using those in conjunction with um, USB docking stations to get a single cable solution to the to the desktop. What we what we're introducing here at Infocom is uh, we're calling it our XB5 AV over IP conferencing bridge. It's a single USB C cable to the desktop that provides 100 watts of charging power wired Ethernet so that the BYOD laptop doesn't need to rely on Wi-Fi in the room, uh, bi-directional audio and video from the near end and far end, anything from the virtual matrix that's encoded with our encoders can come out, and uh, Dante embedding and de-embedding so we can take that audio from the, from the far end, bring it into the near end, send that to DSP for sound reinforcement, processing with AEC, bring that back and re-embed it over the same USB-C cable and push that out to the far end over for the BYOD session. Wow, that's a, that's yeah. a lot in a small package. It is, <laughs> it is. It's, it's pretty exciting. You know, again, the market has been really asking for this one cable solution for BYOD and this is what this provides as well. And the, the I think it's four new products you said, are they available now or coming sort of later this uh, year? About 90 days from Infocom is okay. what we say, what we like to say. So. Um, what we commit to, really. Yeah. Uh, we have three other new products, uh, three wall plate products from uh, that are compatible with the five series, with basically uh, USB-C inputs. So we have a, a wall plate decoder actually, which has two USB-C that allows you to bring uh, audio and video from decoders back to encoders, USB cameras and things like that. Uh, and we have a USB-C and HDMI input wall plate encoder now and one with a Bluetooth to Dante audio bridge as well. So basically we've added USB-C to our current wall plate line as so, well and so, added a decoder. So we're moving to USB-C as the kind of one of the standard connectivity options, yeah, I yeah. guess? Yeah, you know, it, and, and the, the conferencing bridge is really providing all of the, the promises of USB-C. Power, wired ethernet, bi-directional audio video, all over a single cable. So. You know, this is the first product that uh, that Visionary's introduced that will be able to do all of that on the single USB-C cable. Fantastic. Um, and yeah. Scott, always great to talk to you, and it sounds like a really exciting time for Visionary. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm still at the Visionary stand, I'm here with Phil. Phil, I believe you've beefed up, as you, in your words, you've beefed up your IPTV offer. Could you tell us about that, please? Yeah, we just, so we're launching our new IPTV um, system. Um, it's a new interface. We've done some work on the back end as well. So we've built into a Kubernetes back end. So in, in effect, it allows us just to scale the system um, massively now. Um, but we've also we've also changed the administration interface. So we make it look, it's, look, it's very slick now. So it actually looks really nice. And, and we've incorporated a brand new signage engine into it as well. So we've got a single CMS, which is running both IPTV and our digital signage. We've moved to uh, using templates for both IPTV and signage, so it means that it doesn't, the system doesn't necessarily care whether it's a, a signage display it's going to or whether it's going to an IT, IPTV um, display. It's going to be using a template, so it means we can, we can actually keep the same look and feel throughout an organization, and, and, you can, and we can, allows us to brand the, the interfaces, whatever it's running, whether it's a signage interface or whether it's an IPTV interface, 
um, from from a single from a same single system. So whether you're in a, a hotel environment, whether it's a corporate environment, it could be education, but it just means that we can we can create different templates, or the customer can create different templates for each of the different areas that they want to deliver into. And we're using widgets within the templates, so it means that we can add really simple simple integration inside each 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 individual template. It's it's an on-premise system, so it's a, it's a system that runs. It doesn't need the internet to run, and it's um, it, in effect, it's going to be. I think for us anyway, it's going to take take the system into a, a, a much a much wider field as well. So fantastic, Phil. Thanks for the update. All right, it's great. Thank you.